Luke Skywalker's death in Star Wars Episode VIII The Last Jedi was one of the most controversial decisions of the sequel trilogy filled with controversy. Many people, myself included, did not expect Luke to make his grand exit in the first movie that he was really introduced in, especially after he was built up as such a key integral player in The Force Awakens. Obviously, as we learned, this was later dealt up to the different creative visions that Ryan Johnson had from J.J. Abrams, and the fact that in the sequel trilogy as a whole, they didn't really have a cohesive narrative narrative set up. It was however widely known though that George Lucas in his own Star Wars sequel trilogy did intend for Luke Skywalker to ultimately meet his fate, and to die in the end, sacrificing himself to save his loved one. Today though, we have some pretty interesting new information coming from a brand new Star Wars novel called Star Wars Fascinating Fact, where it was actually revealed that back in 2012, in the original episode 8, as described by George Lucas, Luke was going to die, and that he wasn't going to die at the end of episode 9 as he originally explained he might. George Lucas quite famously though is known for changing his mind on the fly. Herefore, in this fact book, Wyatt says that Luke would die in episode 8 instead of episode 9. This is the small little passage from the book. Years before The Last Jedi began development, the treatment left behind by George Lucas in 2012 also had Episode 8 being the one wherein Luke Skywalker would die. Other than that, there's not a lot of information detailing it. It is clear though that George Lucas did actually write up various plot points that he had for the sequel trilogy in mind, before they began production of The Force Awakens and even before Disney bought Star Wars. In 2012 though, when Disney actually purchased Star Wars, according to this, it was their plan to kill off Luke Skywalker and that this was George Lucas's plan originally as well, and that over time he had changed it from episode 9 into episode 8, presumably for a lot of the same reasons, that being episode 9 was going to be the culmination of the new character's story, and that episode 8 was going to serve as the transition of those characters. But now I would love to hear your thoughts on this, and what are your thoughts on this fact in general, and the fact that George Lucas apparently told Disney that it was his plan to kill off Luke Skywalker in episode 8. Again, if he told them this in 2012, the year that they ultimately sold Star Wars, it would make sense, and it could have actually contributed to why they killed off Luke in Episode 8 instead of 9. Again though, that's just complete speculation on my behalf. If we could get this video to 2,000 likes, that would help the channel out a lot, and help get the word around about this change. Anyway guys, I'd love to hear what you think about this, and do you think that George Lucas wanting Luke to die in Episode 8 instead of 9 influenced Disney's decision to kill him off then as well? I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. As always, my friends, Thank you so much for watching this.